We've been watching firefighters come here to base camp, get a hot meal, maybe a few hours of sleep, but we know there are still many firefighters out there all night on the front lines protecting structures and trying to limit the spread of this aggressive fire. Wildfire has a voice. The Bear Fire releases a roar that can sometimes be attributed to the wind. Sometimes it's the sound of the fire itself or the jet engine of an air tanker overhead. And sometimes all three together. The fire is pushing south and east, away from Loyalton, away from the Sierra Brooks neighborhood, into the Tahoe National Forest. Smith Neck Road, where we saw these flames, is in a canyon. A south wind racing through this canyon was whipping the flames into a frenzy on this Tuesday evening. At times, the wind twisted and seemed to usher the fire toward any trees that had yet to burn. These are green trees that recently benefited from ample rain and winter snow, but at this point in the summer, all those benefits have dried up. The U.S. Forest Service says air tankers were grounded at times on this day due to the thick smoke. Efforts in the days ahead will focus on making sure the fire doesn't reach Cold Springs, which is to the east, and Stampede Reservoir to the south. As for Sierra Brooks, the Loyalton neighborhood that is under an evacuation order, the danger appears to have passed. We don't feel like we're threatened right now it's because the wind's blowing that way. We are ready to go if it looks like we need to. But once you leave, you don't get to come back in. So they have the roads blocked up. So we'll stay here for now as long as it seems like it's safe. But firefighters and utility crews still have a lot of work to do here. The Sierra County Sheriff is asking evacuated residents to please be patient. We're in a unified command with CAL FIRE, with the U.S. Forest Service and the Sierra County Sheriff's Office. So uh, it's a conversation that we're having. Uh, and when we feel that it is safe to do so, then we'll move forward with uh, repopulating uh, the Sierra Brooks community. No reports of injuries, no reports of any homes lost at this time in the Sierra Brooks neighborhood. We don't know about any cabins that might be out there in the woods deep in the Tahoe National Forest where this fire continues to spread. Cause still listed as under investigation. Live in Sierra County, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.